Potential heat pump owners are being asked to pay thousands extra for space hogging buffers. So we built an experiment to test that rule and the results might just shock you. Just a group of self-described nerds who asked a question no one else bothered to. What if heat could be moved, not made? What if warmth didn't have to cost the earth? They weren't chasing headlines or venture capital. They were chasing efficiency, not the kind that fits in graphs, but the kind you feel when your home is warm on a cold night and the meter barely moves. They studied flow, timing, pipes, and patience. And somehow, quietly, they cracked something astonishing. A way to make heat pumps work better, much better. Not by reinventing them, but by understanding them deeper than anyone had before. Let's begin. The Man Who Challenged Heat Adam Chapman wasn't an inventor in the traditional sense. He didn't set out to build a new kind of machine. What he did was rarer. He paid attention to the details most people ignored, to patterns in how buildings breathed and lost warmth, to see how people used heat without thinking and how that thinking could be changed. He called his project Heat Geek, and in the beginning, it was just that, a quiet corner of the internet for engineers and tinkerers to share what they were learning. But something started to happen. Their ideas worked, and not just marginally, they shattered expectations. Adam's heat pump began hitting efficiencies as high as 800%, numbers most thought were physically impossible in a home. But it wasn't a gimmick. It was methodical, repeatable, measurable. The secret wasn't a new kind of pump or a breakthrough material. It was how everything worked together. A system, not a product. And for Adam, this wasn't about selling something. It was about showing others what was possible if you looked closely enough. He wasn't trying to beat the system, he was trying to understand it and help others do the same. What efficiency really means. To most people, 100% is the best anything can be. Full marks, complete. But in the world of heat pumps, that number is just the beginning. Because heat pumps don't create heat, they move it. From the air outside, even in the coldest months, into the walls of your home. That movement takes electricity, yes, but far less than it would take to generate the same warmth from scratch. So when we talk about 300%, 500%, even 800% efficiency, we're not breaking physics. We're bending it in our favor. If one unit of electricity brings you three, four, or even eight units of heat, that's not a miracle. That's a better question being asked and answered. The technical term is COP, coefficient of performance. And over time, that becomes SCOP, seasonal coefficient of performance, a better measure of how well your system works across the ups and downs of real life. But behind the numbers is something more human, a question of how we live, how we warm our families, and how we use the tools we already have more wisely. And the answer, it turns out, is already here, hidden in plain sight. The Pyramid of Efficiency At first glance, it's easy to assume that the key to higher efficiency lies inside the heat pump itself. A better motor, a smarter sensor, a sleeker design. But that's not where Heat Geek found their answers. The real secret lives outside the box, in the way the entire system is designed, built, and used. Adam described it as a pyramid. At the top, you have a decent quality heat pump, something from a reliable brand. Alone, that gives you a scop of about 2.5, better than average, but not life-changing. The next layer down, behavior. How the user runs the system day to day. Most people treat heating like a light switch. On, off, blast it in the morning, turn it down at night. But heat pumps reward patience. Low and slow, as Adam puts it, a gentle, steady flow of warmth that saves energy by avoiding big, sudden swings. Each step down the pyramid unlocks more performance, not through complexity, but simplicity, matching technology with habit, letting the system breathe rather than forcing it. And that's the beauty of it. The deeper you go, the more you realize this isn't just engineering, it's philosophy. 
Efficiency isn't added. It's uncovered, layer by layer. The power of patience. Most of us have been taught to think speed means progress. Fast cars, fast heating, fast results. But with heat, faster usually means waste. The human body doesn't like sudden temperature changes, and neither do buildings. Adam explained it with a simple metaphor. Two cars make the same trip. One speeds and brakes. The other cruises slowly but steadily. They arrive at the same time, but the slower one uses far less fuel. It's the same with heating. When we blast the system on and off, we force it to overwork, to chase a target. That's reactive heating. Heat pumps prefer something else. Consistency. A quiet, constant hum. A temperature that barely moves because the system never rushes or rests. It just flows. This shift in thinking is one of the biggest and easiest steps on the path to high efficiency. It doesn't require tools, upgrades, or renovations. Just patience. In a world that teaches us to push, Sometimes the smartest thing is to let go, to trust the process, to understand that warmth, like change, doesn't need to be dramatic. It just needs to be steady, quiet, and enough. The secret lives of pipes and valves. Beneath our floors and behind our walls, an invisible network carries warmth from the pump to the people. Most never think about it, but Adam and the heat geeks do. Because here, in the hidden geometry of pipes and valves, is where a quiet transformation takes place. It starts with flow. Water needs space to move. And every bend, every narrow fitting, every piece of plastic slows it down. More resistance means more energy is used. So, they choose copper, wider, smoother, kinder to flow. They soften the bends, reduce the strain. But it isn't just about movement, it's about balance. Every radiator in a house needs just the right amount of heat. Too much in one room, too little in another, and the system begins to wobble. Efficiency falls, comfort slips. This is the kind of detail that doesn't show up on spec sheets, but it matters because when water flows freely and evenly, everything works better. And again, it's not about fancy hardware. It's about care. The kind of care that only comes from obsession, from paying attention to the parts no one sees. In those quiet spaces, true performance begins to bloom. Listening to the weather. Outside your home, the weather is always changing. A sudden cold snap, a slow thaw, a shift in the wind. Most heating systems wait until the inside gets cold before they react. But by then it's already too late. They blast heat to catch up, overshoot, waste energy, then shut off again. That's reactive heating, and it's outdated. Heat Geek teaches something different. To listen, not just to what's happening inside, but what's happening outside. To anticipate the cold before it enters the home. This is called weather compensation, and it's one of the most quietly powerful tools in heat pump efficiency. By placing a temperature sensor outside the house, the system can predict how much heat will be needed before the room ever cools down. It sends that information back to the heat pump, which adjusts gently, gradually, with just enough warmth to hold the line. No more racing to catch up. No more sudden spikes. Just a calm, steady flow. It's a conversation between house and climate. A signal that says, I see what's coming, and I'm ready. And in that moment, your home stops fighting the cold. It starts dancing with it. Hot water and the myth of waste. Hot water is often seen as a necessary inefficiency, a side task, a thing to tolerate, not optimize. But to Adam and the team, that's a mistake. 
one that quietly drags down everything else. The problem isn't the hot water itself, it's how we store it. Most homes keep small tanks at high temperatures, but when you shower, that superheated water gets mixed with cold just to make it usable. The result? Energy spent on heat you never actually feel. Heat. Geek flips this idea. By using a larger tank, you can store more water at a lower temperature, closer to what people use, around 38 to 40 degrees C's. Less energy is wasted heating it, and there's less need to dilute it later. Even the design of the tank matters. Heat Geek developed their own super cylinder with extra large coils inside. This lets the heat pump work slower, gentler, cooler, and more efficiently. It's not about doing more. It's about doing what's needed and no more. Because true efficiency isn't just found in the obvious places. It hides in the habits, the assumptions, the things we thought we couldn't change until someone quietly proves otherwise. The hidden genius of measurement. You can't control what you don't understand, and you can't fix what you haven't measured. That's where the final piece of the puzzle begins, before a single pipe is laid or a heat pump is turned on. Heat Geek developed a tool that uses LiDAR on an iPad to scan the home, creating a detailed virtual model of every wall, window, and door. This isn't just for show. It's the foundation for calculating heat loss with precision, knowing exactly how much warmth escapes, where, and when. From this data, the right heat pump can be sized. Radiators can be matched. Flow temperatures can be lowered. Everything is tailored to fit the house, not guessed or estimated. Too often, Systems are oversized just in case. But that only wastes energy. With careful measurement, you give each home exactly what it needs. No more, no less. It's a quiet kind of genius. Not about adding power, but subtracting excess. In a world obsessed with upgrades and new features, Heat Geek's approach is different. They're not reinventing the wheel. They're just learning, with great care, how to roll it better. In the end, a heat pump is just a part of something bigger. It's not the hero. It's one piece in a quiet orchestra. Pipes, controls, water tanks, weather, timing, behavior, all tuned together, playing a slower, smarter song. Heat Geek isn't just installing systems. They're shifting mindsets. They're proving that efficiency isn't about having more, it's about understanding more. Knowing your home, respecting the flow. 800% efficiency sounds unbelievable, but it's not magic. It's attention, it's patience, it's design. In a world of noise, they chose silence. In a world of shortcuts, they chose precision. Not to impress, but to improve. Gently, quietly, permanently.